everyone. I've got a car stereo. A mate of mine gave it to me, and I suppose I know it works. This is a Grundig, um, as you can see, and uh, it's got a cassette player into it. I'm going to just test it out, make sure it's all working. What I'd like to do is an experiment because I like to put a different input in so I can say put my iRibbit in there or something like that to play through the amplifier. So that's the experiment today I'd like to do. Okay, I've got the my speaker there, the large one, connected right now. I'm just going to show you the connections. So you can see uh, static, so you know it's working. Um, this was, this is the the earth obviously, and this is a live, and we got uh, two speakers connected to there, and the radio is on. If you can see, the radio is on. So I'm going to try my CD, uh, I mean my cassette in there, see if it works. Okay, I put the cassette in there, and it's working. So I just wanted to prove that the audio is working. And if I just eject it, well, it stops working. So. <laughs> okay, I can't eject it. Oh, there it is. And I'll put that back in. I'm going to open it up now and see what we can do with it. We can turn this off now. There you go. So I'm going to open this up. Um, should be pretty straightforward. I'm going to take this off here. Take the screws out at the back there. And see what's inside. So here's the amplifier. And that's all the mechanical parts. Now I forgot to mention that uh, I am scrapping this radio so it's not uh, I'm not really bothered about any of these things coming out if it goes back together again. So um, yeah I'm gonna just find the input somewhere and see if I can put something else through the amplifier without using the radio or the cassette player. Okay well I thought to myself well you know the the cassette heads are here and I think this is the input here this wire here, which it comes out here to these two terminals. So I'm going to try and put a wire here and see if I can put my iRibot or something else through there to make it work. I've got an old jack lead here, which I'm just going to cut it in half, I think. Now I'm not sure if this will work, but we'll see. There's one side of this. I got new cutters. Okay, this is a, a very rough job. We can always buy uh, a new one of these and make our own leads, but this is just a, a test and trial, like I said. Hi guys, um, I've connected it back up again, and this, I found that this white one doesn't work uh, properly, maybe I'm doing something wrong, but the black and the red channel works fine. So I'm gonna just show it to you. This is my Arab, I'm just playing some of my music. Um, this 
I found this black is a common obviously um, that's why I put that on there here we go it's a bit distorted at the moment so I wish I could figure out how to do this um, when I take it apart see how it works better So yes, I can put an input there, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I had to put it onto a cassette. So basically what I did is I pressed that down so it, it, it came onto a cassette. Um, so there's no cassette in there, but I pressed it down. I pulled this up or something like that. And then it, put, it made out like it's playing the cassette, but obviously it's not because it's going through these leads through the cassette and somehow in there there's a switch somehow to uh, change it from the radio to the cassette player so I'm going to mess about with that a bit more and see what I can do I'm going to continue to take this amplifier out and see what if I can detach this whole thing and take it out all together hi guys well I burned something out I'm afraid messing about experimenting uh, this and that so I burnt it out it's not working it's totally dead so what I'm going to do is scrap, scrap it now but I will try and take another radio apart and see what I can do with that I could have used it as um, external source but I, didn't, I wasn't happy with the input of it so well anyway I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this and we'll see what we can do later on I shall take, take the motor out and stuff like that if I need anything, anything like this. There you go. Thank you for watching. Hi everyone. Um, you know it's December 2017. We just had snow yesterday. All down. And this is our snowman here. I just thought, uh, let the snowman say, subscribe. Okay, so to all my subscribers, I'm saying, be safe and have fun. And to those who haven't subscribed yet, to them also, well, I hope you subscribe and be safe. Okay then, that's all I video of this. By the time you see this, by the way, you probably, uh, it's not probably gone. But this is the other one, uh, the Leaning Tower of uh, Snowman. It was straight yesterday. Bye.